tanking meeting at which no issues were discussed in terms of Space Shuttle Atlantis and the countdown. And we are go to begin tanking once we come out of the plan built in hold. And now about four minutes at 5.20 a.m. Eastern Time. Only issue today continues to be weather with an approaching cold front. A front currently located about 70 miles to the northwest of the Cape. And ahead of it is clouds and showers. The front currently forecast to be just about over the Kennedy Space Center at launch time. However, the timing of that uh, front could alter some over the next few hours, and it uh, will probably come down to a matter of timing. So with a 70% chance of not meeting our launch weather criteria, we are hopeful that uh, the front will time its approach just to the north and give us a, a slight break in the clouds prior to our 2.45 p.m. launch time. Our main issues today with the launch weather rules would be clouds and showers. There's also a chance of a crosswind violation at the shuttle landing facility. Our temperature and launch time will be 76 degrees, relative humidity 69 percent. And we will have different wind conditions at the launch pad than we have at the shuttle landing facility. At the pad, winds will be southeasterly 10 to 15 knots as a sea breeze begins to set up during the afternoon. But with the approaching front out of the shuttle landing facility, winds will be southwesterly ahead of the front 11 to 17 knots. Our weather reconnaissance aircraft today will be fairly critical in uh, making some determinations as uh, to whether or not we meet our launch weather criteria, particularly for return to launch site at the SLF. So with two minutes remaining in this plan built in hold and the start of tanking in Space Shuttle Atlantis at T-minus six hours and holding, this is Shuttle Launch Control. Countdown now picking up in five, four, three, two, one. T minus six hours and counting. This is shuttle launch control at T minus five hours, 54 minutes, five seconds and counting. Official start of tanking was 5.21 a.m. this morning. And we are now in chill down for both liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. That is roughly a 10 minute procedure and approximately 5.30 or in about another five minutes or so we should be approaching our slow fill for liquid hydrogen. Slow fill for liquid oxygen will begin at about 6 a.m. So that uh, together, tanking should conclude for both hydrogen and oxygen at uh, approximately the same time, three hours after tanking begins. So uh, at approximately 8.20 this morning, tanking should be complete, and we would send the final inspection team out to the launch pad. This is shuttle launch control team has five hours, 48 minutes, three seconds, and counting. Propulsion console reports that chill down is complete for the liquid hydrogen system and we are now beginning the slow fill operation. So far everything has been going nominally and according to the timeline, according to plan. No technical issues in work and we'll be watching very closely over the next uh, half an hour or so what the uh, eco sensors will be doing.
a heads up from the propulsion system console when we're getting close to running a test on the eco sensors. The way uh, this is going to work this morning is once the sensors are wet, meaning they're covered with cryogenic propellant, we'll be demonstrating their proper functioning by testing them during the tanking operation. Once we get into the fast fill stage of tanking, we'll send an electronic command to force those sensors to read dry instead of wet. This simulated dry command is something that's held until just after we enter the T-minute nine-minute hole when the command is removed and the sensors are monitored to assure they are reading wet throughout the remainder of the count. So we'll cycle these from wet to dry to wet to verify that we're getting a proper indication. The liquid hydrogen eco sensors should be wet at about 6.05 this morning or in about another 25 minutes. The entire launch team in the firing room that the Eco sensors were wet since the launch team is uh, as interested in this as uh, the entire rest of the world because this would mean whether or not we would be pressing on for a launch today. We will be using the standard launch commit criteria for the eco sensors today, meaning that we would be a go if we have three of four operating normally and the one that is not operating properly is not in any way related to the problem that we've been attempting to fix. We are cautiously optimistic that we're going to have four out of four sensors today, but we should know that within the next hour. We have not started the ecosystem test yet, but the sensors are wet, and the propulsion console team is looking at sensor data. This is shuttle launch control T minus five hours fifteen minutes forty five seconds and counting. Confirmation that the initial fuel system checkout and calibration is complete. So at this point we're up with three good fuel cells so far this morning. And we're doing slow fill on liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. We have not started the ecosystem sensor testing yet. And we should get a heads up on that from the propulsion console before they start. At T-minus 5 hours, 15 minutes and counting, this is shuttle launch control. We're uh, now also in LH2 fast fill, and the 5% sensor is wet. So we're now in fast fill for both liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. And the 5% sensor on LH2 is wet. We've not gotten a heads up yet from the propulsion system console that uh, they are doing an eco system test as yet. 